Sweet home. Handy it is to open the tap every morning and get water. Plenty of it. All the water you want. Isn't that what you'd expect? Well, not for everyone. Throughout the world, there are hundreds of millions of people who have no water at all. And that doesn't stop us wasting as much as we can. Although we know that one day that could also happen to us. Can you imagine if that happened to you? Try to imagine one day, just one single day without water. What? Now what? What do you mean? What? What? What a what? Spit it out! Gosh, Vincent, did you know we're out of water? What? What? There's a jug of water in the fridge. Don't waste it all. That's all we have. What a drag. We're out of water. We, we already, already know, know that. that. But how can we run out of water? How long will the cutoff last for? Not a drop until tomorrow. Oh, my God. I have to wash my hair. Look at me. Mom? What have you got in that cute little jug? Water, dear, but it's all we have left and it must be saved for the baby's bottle. And what am I supposed to do? Rinse my hair with milk? Hey, honey, calm down, okay? I'll go to the village and I'll bring water back here. I wish you could, but it's a holiday today and everything is closed. However, they must be out of water, too. I can't see why you're all worrying. Sometimes in the movies, people don't drink for days and they all survive. You're right. No need to panic. What's a day without water, after all? It's pure agony, that's what it is. I need to rinse my hair! Okay. We better review the situation carefully. What have we got that we can drink? All day without water! Wonderful! Journey virus salmonella? What's it screaming about, Dan? What's up, Flu? Are they pouring bleach down the drain pipe? Cheer up, all! The water's been cut off! We can buy anything we want! And they can't wash it! <laughs> Harim! Harim! Today we're going to harm! Today is a great day for muck! <laughs> okay, we have one jug of water. No, no, we don't. This water is for the baby's bottle. Okay, okay. Then we have... Two bottles of milk. We don't. One of these is for tomorrow's breakfast. Okay, then. So we have one liter of orange juice. Or don't we have one liter of orange juice? Uh, of course we have one liter of orange juice. So it's orange juice for lunchtime. Isn't that right? <laughs> hey there, family. I ran ten miles today. <laughs> we can sure tell. I can run as fast as a cheetah, you know? Is that why you smell like one? So what's wrong with your hair, sis? It's my new look. Like it? Kinda radical, but very lovely. I gotta go take a shower. 
Yeah, you sure need one. What are you gonna shower with? Orange juice or milk? Oh, my. <laughs> what an heavy bow. Wow, what a shake. I'm lucky I hit something nice and soft. Uh, hey, this something soft needs air. Oh, oh, what are you doing down there? Are you joking? You mean, what are you doing on top of me? Get your oh. hands off. Oh. Take them off. Otherwise, oh. you're going to make me very angry. OK, it's OK. There's no need to get hasty. That's better. And now, politely, ask me again. Madam, please, I would sincerely beg you to remove your generous but no, I mean, body from my humble and crumpled being. Of course. It will be a pleasure. Thank you, madam. It's been a pleasure. Good manners will go a long way. No, I couldn't agree with you more. There's no need to be mad at each other, don't you think? Oh, yes, madam. Delighted. My name is Dopey and I'm an alcohol drop. And I'm Milky, a milk drop. I'm so sorry to have oh. landed over such a nice drop like you. Landed over? More like trampled over? Oh, forget it. It's been a real pleasure. No, Dopey. It's been my pleasure. Besides, you stopped me splattering on the ground. Hi, Dopey. Hi, Raindrop. Hello, Dimbus. Dimbus? Hi, Do... Do... Dodo? Dopey, I want you to be my friend, Milky. She's a real milk drop. Cow's milk? Yes, cow's milk. No additives. Straight from the cow. It's a huge pleasure. My name is Nimbus. And you are... Huh? You are real water steam? Yes, made of real pure cow steam. Real pure water steam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have a very spongy and muscular body. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Whoa. Huh? Hi, big guy. Distinguished lady. Ooh, what a wonderful tickling sensation. I'm glad you like it. Clouds are charged with electricity, and when something moves us, sparks fly. <laughs> yeah, clouds are charged with electricity. Oh, what a delightful tickle. <laughs> oh. I think those two need a nice cold shower. Yeah, that reminds me. Did you know they have no water in the house? Okay. So what? Humans are dependent on it. Over half of their body is made of water. A man can live for several weeks without food. But not without drink. Not even three days. They could still drink milk. But they can't use milk to clean and wash. They also need water to cook. They use it for everything. In a house this size, they use over a thousand liters a day. They wash their hands, teeth, hair, faces, and shower. They clean windows, dishes, wash the floors, and lettuce. Almost all their food is prepared with water. And they also use it to flush their toilets after they poo and pee into them. Enough, enough. I learned the lesson. Humans need water to drink, cook, wash, and... Uh... Flush the toilet after doing your business. I pulled the chain, Dad, but no water came out. <sighs> Are we gonna have to live with this smell all day? You shut up, Strawhead! You look just like a witch! It's not your fault, son. You have no <laughs> idea water had been cut off. It's amazing how such a small boy can produce such a big stench! Look who's talking, Mr. Sweat Smell! Okay, okay, enough. Let's close the door, open the windows, and forget about the whole issue. Forget about the smell? And how can we do that? I have to wash my hair one way or another. I told you today would be a great day for muck. When water stops flowing, germs get going. Well, let's hit the kitchen first. There's plenty to poison there. The more poisonous you are, the prettier you get. How nice of 
deserve you, Blue. You always say such nice things. You deserve every single one of them, my filthy pet. Take that, my dirty prince. <laughs> Take this, my sick and beloved treasure. I can't see what's so funny. Well, I sure can. <laughs> and I enjoy observing your parents' love for each other. They are only happy when they're able to poison. As any decent germ should be, you should follow their example. <laughs> Foul brother, smelly son, the time has come. Everybody to the kitchen. Let's poison everything. <laughs> come on, dear. Cheer up. Today we can cause a lot of harm. Let's pollute. Let's poison. Let's contaminate. All this polluting business is so boring. Strike me if those aren't our pathetic, clean friends. Comrades, take your positions for attack. Ah! Charge! Open fire! Powdered milk? Who are they? It's Flu and his gang. They're attacking us. Take cover! Don't be afraid. I'll protect you. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Let's scare them to death. I missed Dopey's head by an inch. <laughs> I think the danger is over. I was really scared. Thank God Nimbus was there to protect me. Oh, it was nothing really, my dear Milk Drop. But I don't want to pollute. That dirty ball was aimed at me. It nearly hit me on the head. Those germs are always causing problems. You know them? Yes. Their leader is Flu, the worst polluting agent ever known. And in a house without water, he's going to be hard to defeat. Hello, guys. I'm feeling much better now. That's great, Frosty. You can't imagine how worried we've been. I'm feeling strong again. <laughs> we were caught in a forest fire and Frosty nearly melted. But just a few hours below zero can do wonders. How did you manage to get out of the fridge? Scary. A kind of hedgehog opened the door. The girl with the spiky hair? That's it. While she took out a water jug from the fridge, I had the chance to get out. Did she take the water jug? I don't like this one bit. Why is that water jug so important, Milky? I remember hearing it was for the baby's bottle. And the young lady was desperate to rinse her hair. I doubt she could be so mean. Use the baby's water. We're going to have to find out. And how do we do that? That way. We'll follow the drain pipes. You mean you're going to enter that hole? Bingo. We will soon reach the bathroom. No way. I'm not going to go in there. Why is that? Water drops might travel in there, but alcohol drops never do such things. I think I've had my share of claustrophobia for today, and I'm not going anywhere. Well, I want to know if that girl has been capable of taking the baby's water. Well, as for me, Milky, I will follow you anywhere. Oh, Nimbus, <laughs> you're such a gentleman. <laughs> okay, then. Shall we go? Sweet Droplet, will you honor me and hop on my back? It will be a pleasure. Bye, Frosty. See you later. Ciao, Dopey. Bye. 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 Ready? We're all. <laughs> Splendid. A lettuce to poison. Without water, there's no chance they can wash it. Off you go, virus. It's all yours. Empty your dirt bag on the lettuce. I got no bag. I lost it. Lost it? What do you mean, lost it? This kid gets on my nerves. Well, take your mother's dirt bag. But I can assure you, you're not going to miss out on an opportunity like this one. So move it! Here, honey. 
Show your dad how gross you can be. Come on, virus. Make me feel proud. Come on, son. Let's see if you paid attention to all my lessons. Uh, 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 Come on, boy. Make your mind up. Uh, 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 Dad, I did it, Dad. That's it? You're done? Is that all? Useless! That's what you are! You'll never get to be a decent germ! Oh, I'm not flu! He's just a baby! Kids must learn as soon as possible! The sooner the better! I will not tolerate a clean kid any longer! I even caught him once cleaning his teeth! Really? That's not nice, Virus! I'm sorry! It was only that one time! I'll never do it again! I hope so. There's something really wrong with that boy. Cleaning his teeth. What a disgrace for the family. I hope you are right. Come on, let's show the rascal how a lettuce is poisoned. Now you're talking. Take that. <laughs> I just love the sight of a fresh vegetable covered in muck. <laughs> There's plenty. Lovely pollution. And now, watch this. Bums away. It's a clean hit! Gosh! Very smart, my sweetheart! You're so handsome when you work! Now that's what I call appetizing! It's as if it said, eat me! What we need is a human to take a bite of it! Yeah, nicely poisoned, unwashed! They'll have a stomachache for a month! I only hope water doesn't come back to ruin the party! Wonderful! Hard work pays off! Watch out! Give way to the humans! The lettuce is his! <laughs> Let him enjoy it! We have salad, tomatoes, spaghettis, and rice. What I really have is a problem. I cannot prepare any of those dishes without water. Well, you could boil some potatoes or eggs or prepare soup or... Or what? Shut up, Vincent! Don't be lame! To cook all that, we need water. Ow! Are you nuts? Why did you shout at me? I'm sorry, but this business of not having water is... We should have installed a water reserve tank somewhere. I never thought water could be so important for everything. I'll see if we have any cheese left. You could cook fried eggs and fried. We have... <laughs> Olive oil. Uh, Olive oil? Oh, you want to kill me or what? What's wrong now? No, Bobby, don't you dare move! No, Bobby, no! Ah, no! Don't you worry, Mom. I'll catch him. No, Johnny! This is a madhouse. I'll teach that kid a lesson. Vincent, no! Oh, my God, and no water. How am I going to clear up all this mess? Golly, it's time for the baby's bottle. Don't worry, precious one. Mommy will soon have lunch ready. Again? Another diversion? You both said we would reach the bathroom in no time. Sorry, it was me who said it would be easy. Never thought a house could have so much piping. I would go that way. We're bound to hit one of the taps for the shower. We could also end up in the WC. Not very pleasant. Keep quiet a second. I think I hear water filling a bathtub. But I thought there was no water in the house. Must be the water the girl took. Sounds nearby. I think you were right, Nimbus. I think I can see the holes of the shower head. Be careful, dear. Don't fall through one of the holes. I see her. And she's rinsing her hair with the baby's water just as we feared. Humans are sometimes unbelievably selfish. But who took the water? Who took the water jug? This family is not having a good day. I wish we could help them. Come on, dear. Mommy will soon have something for you. Oh, yeah? With what? I need water to boil the bottle. Sorry, Mom. I didn't think a little water could be so important. It's okay, honey. The real problem is we never considered not having water. We're so used to wasting. Don't you forgive her, Vincent. She knew very well the water was for the baby. Mom, please stop shouting at me. I'm really sorry. And why don't we prepare some baby food for him? Hey, 
Who told you you could eat that? You'll be sick. Thick? This is only a lettuce. We eat this every day. But no one washed it today. Vegetables must be washed before you can eat them. Uh, my tummy. Johnny, what's wrong with you? Forget the toilet. There's no water. Out to the garden. Oh, we better call the doctor. What a great day! Lots of muck, fights, a starving baby, a sick kid. I told you this was gonna be a ball! I'm really enjoying myself! Well, they seem to be having a rotten time. That's the whole point, stupid! Don't you start with... You who? Well, well, I knew you wouldn't miss the party. You wouldn't believe the disasters we've caused. And this time you can't stop us? <laughs> There's not a drop of water in the house! No matter what you say, we will help these people and stop you from causing more harm. Oh, yeah? You and whose army? <laughs> what do you mean, Raindrop? Do you have an idea? Not at all, but we should. Things will just get worse if we have no water. If we could only fill the water jug, that would be a good start. But how can we do that? Blistering barnacles! We must find a solution! Lightning and thunder, of course! What? You're a cloud! Well, that's obvious. And clouds are full of water, which they can produce by raining. That means you can rain over the jug to fill it. Sure. Yes, under certain conditions. What kind of conditions? A temperature drop will cause cloud water to condense in larger drops and produce rain. And we are in summer, which means temperature is not likely to drop. Rain is also produced when the electric particles of a cloud are stimulated and produce lightning. Isn't that so, Nimbus? Yes, you're right. Just like when he shook my hand and I noticed the tickle? Exactly. And we're just over the jug. If Nimbus's electric particles react, he... We'll rain and we'll have water. How's your charge, my steam stallion? Who? Me? <laughs> I think they found a way to ruin the party! Oh my! He disappeared! I thought he would only release a few drops, but Nimbus disappeared and there's hardly any water in the jug. <laughs> you failed this time, Raindrop! Your psh turned out to be a fake! <laughs> You shouldn't laugh at other people's bad luck. We lost Nimbus in rain. Stop crying or I'll end up sobbing too. Nimbus was the best guy I ever knew. Hey, what's going on? I Whoa. think the... Water! Water is back, Mom! Water! Don't you worry now, Mom. Yes, I will put the water to boil. And now the water is back. We'll make good use of it. Looks like this girl learned her lesson. Water should never be wasted. They've been lucky to receive supplies so fast this time. It's a shame Nimbus had to be sacrificed in vain. You mean to say you don't consider me a hero? Nimbus! Nimbus! How happy I am to see you again, Nimbus! Me too! I never suffered so much! You should never forget the water cycle. When steam is condensed, it turns into water and falls. And when water is heated, it turns back into steam and descends again. Oh, Nimbus, I'm so happy to see you again. I would kiss you, but I won't because I don't want you to disappear again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to take the risk. I think I could control my charges. Isn't water important in our lives? We need it to drink, to wash, to cook. In a nutshell, we need it to survive. Having running water in our house makes life really easy and comfortable, and that's great, but we should make good use of every single drop, as water is scarcer by the day. So, to make a good deed every day, save as much water as you can. And remember, it's the most important treasure for survival. Don't misuse it. Life depends on it. 